Guides Falls Weir was built in the late 1800s to essentially to power a flour mill on site. It stored water, directed it down a mill race and then powered the, the turbines of the flour mill. It's been in place for 100 years and it sets the water level for 16 kilometres upstream here. So all the boat houses and other things that are upstream on the Yarra rely on, on the weir being here to, to fix the water level. It was damaged a couple of times during the 1900s in flood events and repaired, but basically the fundamental building blocks of it were still from the 1800s, so as you can imagine, it was getting a little bit worse for wear. The construction of the Dites Falls project was a very linear program. We were very limited in area and we could only build one thing at a time. So we started by building the weir first, diverting the Yarra around the construction site. Then we could divert the water back over the new weir and then start on the fishway. The biggest difficulty on this project was when we first started. We started the project when the droughts broke and for 80% of the time when we were trying to build the weir, we had the water overtopping and the conditions were too unsafe to continue and we just had to demobilise off site and come back when the conditions improved. Because Dites Falls is the barrier between salt and fresh water in the Yarra system, it's really important because a large proportion, 70% of our native fish species, need to move between fresh water and salt water as part of their life cycle, and that migration is really important. So by getting fish up and over Dites Falls using the fish ladder, we're hopefully going to make a real difference to the fish populations in the Yarra catchment. There was already a fishway built at Dites Falls in 1993-1994 and it was built out of rock and a number of studies that we've done have shown that they've been ineffective so we needed to provide unimpeded passage for the suite of different fish species we have in the Yarra, some of which are, are threatened. Dites Falls is perhaps the most significant barrier to fish passage in Victoria because Dites Falls is right down the bottom of the catchment. Freeing up passage at Dites Falls opens up most of the Yarra River catchment to unimpeded fish passage. We'd expect the, the fishway at Dites Falls to have a number of benefits to, to fish in the Yarra River. But it's not only fish passage that is improving in the Yarra River, we also have environmental flows and uh, an enormous amount of work that the River Health team is doing to replant and improve the trees that we find in the riparian zone, which is the area immediately adjacent to the waterway. Collectively we'd expect this to have not only uh, benefits increasing numbers of fish in the Yarra River, but also increasing the diversity of fish. And we expect a, a number of fish to be found upstream that previously haven't been recorded for a very long time. We have done some preliminary work evaluating how well it's worked, and the results have just been, been staggering. It's been an extraordinary success story so far. We've found two nationally listed species of, of freshwater fish, the Macquarie perch and the Australian grayling. We've also found a, a broad suite of, of fish species that we were hoping to find. We've got lots of different galaxids, really small fish that are migrating up from the ocean as juveniles. We've got juvenile tupong in the fishway itself that hasn't been recorded in the Yarra for a very long time. We've also got two species of lamprey and uh, heaps and heaps of smelt. What this means is that we've got this really multicultural signal so far in the fishway and it is passing these fish and it's, it's been a really promising, promising result so far. We expect that with further evaluation that we'll, we'll better understand which species are using these fishways and when. After four years I'm really excited to see it looking so great now. The, the vegetation is, is recently planted so it's going to be great to see that grow up and I think the site's looking terrific. For me, well, it's a great milestone we've reached. The exciting work is just beginning to determine, yes it has worked and it is improving numbers of fish in the area.